once, when I was half the age that I am now. I lived in an apartment complex, terraced into a mountainside, northwest of downtown Los Angeles. There was a path running up this mountainside apartment complex with apartment buildings, lawns, trees, and bushes on both sides. One day, I was, as I was climbing this uh, path, I spied a thin wisp of smoke rising from behind a bush. I looked closely, and I saw a shadow, two boys huddled behind the bush. I inquired, you boys are not trying to light a fire, are you? The boys jumped up. The knees were knocking together. One was a stick boy, another was a rolling bully boy. The stick boy said, nah, we're not trying to light nothing. And he had something behind his back that was uh, smoking. <laughs> I inhaled. I smelled smoke, but I didn't say anything. I didn't want to get involved. I smiled at the boys and walked up the hill towards my apartment. But the closer I approached my apartment, the more I began to think that I should go back down the hill and stop the boys from playing with fire. But I knew what to do, but I just couldn't decide to do it. So I retired to my apartment, still debating what to do. Moments later, I heard a man scream outside my window, FIRE! <laughs> I jumped up, ran out the door, turned around, and I looked to my left. And there, rising from a bush, was a pillar of fire, rising up into the air, 30 or so feet, and branching outward to uh, singe the branches of a pine tree up above. Children were running around neighborhood screaming, screaming, fire, fire! Doors were opening, people were running out. A crowd of uh, boys and young men ran up past me, then gathered around the fire and looked at it in awe. Meanwhile, I hid among the women and girls watching from down below. <laughs> a man smashed a, 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 a fire extinguisher box and a, a, came to the fire and started uh, putting it out. But the fire slowly came down and just started working its way back up again to its previous height. At which point another man came and attacked it with another fire extinguisher, and that, that killed it. Off in the distance, you could hear the fire extinguisher, uh, the, the fire trucks are approaching. Uh, the firemen arrived, jumped off the trucks, saw that there was nothing to do, jumped back on the truck, and then left down the hill. <laughs> The adults began uh, uh, murmuring, how did the fire start? Some of the kids said, well, maybe it was firecrackers. <laughs> I knew who had started the fire, but just that I didn't know who started the fire. As I looked at the crowd of boys gathered around the blackened bush, I could not, for the life of me, identify which two boys I had seen earlier. And I realized that I didn't know my neighbors. I knew neither my neighbors' uh, names, I knew neither my neighbors' faces, I knew neither my neighbors' uh, children. S strangers lived above, next, and around me. What would I, uh, how was I to answer if somebody were to ask me, oh, why didn't you stop the boys when you saw them play with the uh, uh, fire earlier? I slunk back into my uh, apartment. And as I opened the door, a thin cloud of smoke branched out and rolled across the carpet ahead of me. Two years later, I dropped a pen into my diary when I looked out my window and saw a boy lighting a coffee stirring stick with a lighter. I knocked off uh, uh, the, the fan in the windowsill opened up the, uh, the, the blinds and the windows, and I shouted, David! Don't play with that lighter! The boy jumped up, <laughs> shaking with his knees, and he threw the lighter against the wall and smashed against the, the, the wall, uh, and, he, and the, 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 the stick dropped and extinguished the ground. And he said, I, I'm, not, I'm not playing with a lighter! <laughs> and he was rubbing his hands against his side. And I said, yes you are, I saw you! You should be playing with a lighter. You could burn yourself, cause fire. Well, but I'm bored. 
I have nothing to do and no one to play with. And I yelled, but a knife is not a toy. I'm sorry. And he just trudged over to my window and he pressed his uh, uh, face against the, the screen and he kept on rubbing his hands. And he started looking at him, staring at him and said, oh, 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 I, I, I burned myself. And I smiled smugly and said, that's why you should not play with fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>